Thursday. Happy Thursday. How you doing today? What time is it? It's 2.15 here. I got up and made me a little packet of the tuna for lunch. I'll tell y'all why I'm eating so late here shortly. As you can see, I got me some cucumbers. I'll put the top on that in a little bit. Let me put some pepper on this. And some tuna. Let me open up these crackers here. Because it's getting ready to be lunch. I am um, eating so late. I'll tell y'all in a minute. Hold on a second. Five ought to be enough if I can eat that many. Whew. Anyway, let me say my grace real quick, y'all, and then I'll tell y'all about what's going on over here. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, Lord. I thank you for my many blessings. I thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. So, yeah, y'all. Now, I just made a quick little tuna salad out of one of those little, you know, packets of tuna. And um, some cucumbers and saltine crackers y'all just saw. But, yeah, so I, um, we've been in a, well, it's the, it's, this is the second day of it. It's a three-day conference, uh, analytics conference that we're having at our job. And so my workstation has been right there in the chair all day. And I'm. You can choose the, even though it's online, they're running through events bikes. It pretty much works the same as any typical conference. And, you know, you go to the main section in the morning and do all that blase, blase, and then you choose your breakout session. I don't know if I didn't plan mine quite right, but the breakout sessions I chose. And some stuff is not usable in my job right now, but it's just stuff I'm interested in and other departments in the company. Kind of finding out what they do. So, a lot of those presentations were very interesting, but mine was going back to back. You had a 10 minute break in between time, right? So my daughter, y'all, they was trash day. So I took the trash down there last night. And she left at nine this morning. And I um took some boxes down there. She dragged some boxes down there that we had unemptied. We still got quite a few here. Not really, but we got a lot to me. So I think about eight boxes left. And so... <laughs> She calls me. She backs out the driveway right now. She down there by the trash can. She called me, my mom. I said, yeah, what is it? Now I'm in the, I'm in my first session this morning. After the main session, I done went into the first session, you know. And she says, um, I said, this must be important. You know, she calling me right away. Oh, the trash man, mom, they real trifling. They just left the trash can in front of the driveway. I said, she said, they run early over here. She said, can you believe the postman's still going? The post lady's still going around? The post lady later run early, too. Because over there, the postman ran late. Ran around 2 o'clock. I said, this what you calling me for? No. Mama, I called to tell you. He had a trash can in the street. But some of those boxes that was down there, they blowed in the street, too, Mama. And they just got the trash can sitting on top of the boxes. And, you know, I said, oh. I said, you calling me for that. You couldn't get out of your car and get that stuff and put the trash can up out of the garage. I ain't got time for that, Mama. That's why I'm calling you. I ain't got time for it. I got to get to work. So, needless to say, other than going to the restroom on my little breaks, I never did get up to eat it and kind of lunch or anything. I just went ahead and um went ahead and went out there and got the trash can and pulled the boxes back on the street. 
put Boxy back up on the curb. Because I said, if they come by, they probably not going to try to go all over trying to pick up these boxes. So, I, you know, because the, uh, the recycle and the, that person come by later, they don't, the trash, the regular trash people don't, don't do that portion, I don't guess, down here. I don't know how that works. I prayer or not, because I looked down the street and there was people with boxes out, like to my neighbor, two houses over, and a lot of people had their recycle bins out, so. Hmm. Y'all, y'all don't know I want to tell y'all all the time. I watch TikTok. And most of the time, people on TikTok, somebody on YouTube will end up doing like a compilation video of all these different TikToks. Well, here recently has been one, and I don't know who I, Lord forgive me, because they are really talented. Everybody that's singing on the ones that I've heard have been talented. But the little hook goes, why money ain't free? Something, something, something. You know, they don't want to have to work for the money. But then other people then they after this guy like the why money ain't free. So maybe type in why money ain't free. So everybody been doing a little verses on this hook, on this main hook. That the guy did. Very talented, like I said. And I don't want to, you know. And so I thought about that. Just listening to some of it. And someone was like. So the conversation sparked up about. If you could. Um, go back. The conversation sparked up about. Women. Working. And going to the workforce and which has kind of changed the trajectory of the family you know how women go out to work now make money make earn well and do and ironically enough the value of working was taught to me by my father in all honesty even though I grew up where my mother stayed at home. She worked part time because like it was a lot of us at home, you know, cook, but my dad also cooked and did, you know, my mother worked part time to help out, especially during the holidays. She would do seasonal work and stuff like that. She didn't go to work till later on. I think when they moved to Memphis and stuff, you know, so when they retired from the military, and so, I don't know what it is to kind of grow up, you know, with your somebody being at home all the time when you come home from school, the meal being cooked, blase, blase. But, on the other hand, I was married, and I worked. I was still home, come home and cook. And then after I got divorced, of course, I would do it all. You know, there was no helping and stuff like that. Even when I was in a relationship, you know, I would still come home and cook. I would get up in the mornings and cook, but he did cook occasionally. And uh, But he would wash the dishes and stuff, but I still, like, wash clothes, took care of the home and stuff like that. So, but I wouldn't be out there fixing on my car when something was wrong. I wouldn't be out there doing no yard work, stuff like that, you know. And I often laugh because my dad did make us learn how to cut yards. You know, at least we had to take our turn. I don't know how to start a mower. I'm going to tell you that right now. But I remember cutting with the manual mower one time, and I also remember cutting with a gas mower sometime. We got out there and did a few rows. But for the most part, my brother took out the trash and did that yard work and stuff like that. So would you go back to being a at home mom if you could you know and i know people still do that where they raise their children and they're able to stay at home i had thought about that because it forced some people's hand to kind of make that decision when the pandemic hit you know to kind of decide on what they were going to do for their family you know especially since a lot of jobs weren't allowing you to work from home, but then some were. And 
now jobs, you know, because the kids were in school, and now a lot of families saw money they were saving because, of course, they weren't spending money out on lunches. They wasn't the transportation. They were able, they wasn't doing the commute. Because even I, I saw the benefit of not having to drive 30 minutes to work, 32 minutes to work, and 32 minutes home when we finally did come home. And in the days that I'm able to stay at home now, I see the blessing and not having to get up and I pretty much can get up, get out of the shower, and go straight to work. I don't have to get in my car, go there, and most of the time, you know, somebody's going to stop by your desk and talk. You pretty much can kind of go straight to work. So I don't know if it's more efficient, but if you could go back to the traditional role of doing that and staying at home, if you're in a situation where you are have kids that you have to raise, do you see the benefit in that? And I know a lot of that was, you know, you didn't have the adult interaction if you were the woman, but do you see the benefit of doing that and just allowing your husband to do the work and have the traditional roles, have additional roles in the home? Or do you see the benefit of the modern way where some people are kind of combining it or some people are still expecting that traditional role for the kids but still expect that their woman or their wife or whatever should still work and contribute to the home? But what do you feel, you know, at this point? How do you feel about that? And do you feel like is it worth it going to work for money, you know, if you have a family like that? And on the other hand, like for me, say I would have been a traditional role. Say you're in a traditional role, and I see this happen a lot. And you concentrate on raising your family, which I don't think you should regret at all. Because, you know, I told you I'm still traditional. I believe in them. I don't believe I should do what I want to my money, but should I get married again? Yes, I want my husband to provide. I want us to have uh, our money together at some point, but I do want him to be a provider to say, that's not mean that I'm going to go off and mess off my money. I'm going to be like, we're going to ball to the wall. We're going to do a vacations. We're going to save. We're going to hang out together. But I, if something should happen to me and I can't work, I want to know my husband has me covered. I want to feel safe with that person. I want to feel like I can follow him. And I also want to be his backbone. It's just something happen and he can't work and he gets sick. Then I got it, baby, you know. Stuff like that. So I don't know. I see the benefit of my father teaching us to have your own, make your own, do your own. And a lot of people say a lot of women teach their daughters that. But like I said, my father taught me that it's important to work. It's important to do. It's important to have a good work ethic, to do well on your job, to have things where you can take care of yourself. Because it's been women where their husbands have passed. They don't have any type of work skills or life skills. Uh, their husband has left them for someone else and they don't have any kind of uh, work skills or life skills. What is your situation? And do you think women and men exist either way that still want that? And it, it, it's nice to see families that are able to do that still and and have, you know, someone at home with their children. Because to be so honest with you, there's so much going on out here now. You're scared to let your kids even go to daycare now sometimes. But then you still want your kids to interact with other children and I think that's when people are more neighborly and neighborhood kids play together. And now children don't really go outside like this, so you do have to have your, I think your children need some type of socialization skills because they have to live in the world more than just you. So it's a thing, it's a, it's a way, I don't know, it's just, just to spark the conversation. Would I be a stay-at-home wife and mother if I could or could have? I don't think so. Because like I said, it was times when, you know, a situation garnered where if something happened to your spouse, not being able to work, and he was, to he was totally dependent on them, then your whole family is in a, in a bind. But if you're working and contributing and bringing something in, um, there's a couple of people that I really admire here on YouTube. One I start watching 
recent. I think her name is Yusuf. And I watched Tracy's place also. And Angelo Staples is another one. They are married. But they have found a way to either do their own business with their spouse. I think Angela has like a cleaning business. Uh, Tracy does like, um, what's that, uh, MCA car stuff. And she does other things from home. And she also, she has a t-shirt business. Uh, she does YouTube. Um, and her husband goes out, you know, and works every day. But she's able to stay at home and do things and run with her kids and prepare meals and do like that. And I think they have a partnership because I see how they work together for their children. But where well, you can still have that balance and still be able to work and provide income just in case something should happen to your spouse or the main provider and you're still able to be at home doing it. And I don't know what this Yasa person does, but her and her husband seem to work together because I see him cooking and doing stuff sometimes too. But he goes out and she goes in the home and she does take care of the home and do different things but she also has some type of at-home business and she does youtube as well so i think it's great that youtube can generate income enough for people to be able to manage to to you know make it like that i don't know what that is on my wall but anyway yeah what would you do why money ain't free what would you do if money was free if you could just pluck it off a tree like that you you your parents you say your money you think money grown trees but anyway, y'all, I hope y'all having a great and happy Thursday. I try to work on some stuff in the, uh, after I get done, but I had to eat something because I was getting a little weak. And so I've got me something in my belly, and I'm going to get to work and go on. So I got a presentation I need to work with my coworker on, so uh, getting some slides together for that. And we're going to consolidate it. But anyway, I just wanted to join y'all. I hadn't seen y'all since Sunday. So I said, look, I got to, got to go see how my people doing. How we doing? We need to fellowship. But I want y'all to know you love. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. Bye.